Today we're going to be running you through the software for the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S mouse. This mouse has more buttons than your typical mouse and they can be customized to do some pretty cool things. So once you install the Logi Options Plus software and then plug in your mouse to the computer, you're going to be greeted with a screen that looks a little something like this. Here you can see all of the buttons that can be customized. You have your scroll wheel, you have your top middle mouse button, your side scroll wheel, back and forward button, and then you have this hidden button that presses down on the side of the mouse over here and that can do a lot of cool things as well like gestures and gestures is going to be the default functionality so for example if you hold it down and swipe to the left or right it's going to run these specific commands now if you don't want to use this as a gesture button you can customize it to do a lot of different things such as task view show high desktop and then there's some other actions here and there's a big big list of things that you can do to really curate your mouse to function in a way that's very comfortable for you. Now for me personally, I don't really like the gesture features. Instead, what I want this to do is open up a new tab when I'm inside of the Chrome browser. So for it to work only inside of Chrome, I'll go ahead and click add application, click Chrome. Once you click confirm, now you can see we have two different profiles. We have a profile for Chrome where the shortcuts will change and then a global profile. And you can have as much or as little profiles as you wish that are app specific. So we'll go ahead and select the Chrome and then replace this with instead of gestures, we're gonna go ahead and do reopen close tab. And then you can see this is an app specific command that is specific for Chrome. Now, if you don't see a specific command that you want, you could just go ahead and do keyboard shortcuts Okay. And the command for that would be Control Shift T. If I go ahead and open my Chrome browser, you can see I have the Logitech website open. And let's say I'm done with this tab, I click close. Then I'm like, oh wait, never mind. I actually need to reopen that tab. I can just go ahead and press this. And you can see that the tab opened back up without having to open a new tab and navigate my way back there. So that's a really useful shortcut that I find myself using quite often. And that's something I would definitely buy into my mouse. There's also going to be the point and scroll tab where you can customize how the mouse scroll wheels actually work. You can make it inverted or standard. You can make it have smooth scrolling. You can do smart shift and smart shift is going to be where it's tactile if you scroll very lightly. And if you scroll heavily, it enters like a free spin mode. And if I go ahead and disable Smart Shift, you can see we have this free spin as well as the ratchet mode if you want to have them on one state all the time. I personally like leaving it on the Smart Shift. I think it's really nice and you can adjust the sensitivity level at when the smart shift kicks in. Then you have pointer speed. This is gonna be pretty standard. And then you're gonna have the thumb scroll wheel. And this is pretty much gonna function like a regular scroll wheel, except it's not gonna have that magnetic scrolling technology. And if we go ahead and click back here, we also have easy switch. So if you have multiple devices connected, you can go ahead and switch between them on the software, or you can go ahead and just press these buttons on the back of the mouse and switch between them by just doing that. And then we also have the flow tab. And this is where if you have two computers, you can copy and paste the text between them as well as images. So it's very cool if you're someone who is always near multiple computers and changing files between them all the time. And then we have the settings and this isn't gonna be anything too special here, except this here. If you wanna swap the left and right buttons, you can. So it'll make it a little more lefty friendly. However, the shape of the mouse is not ergonomic, so it's gonna be really uncomfortable to use this with your left hand. So I would just recommend purchasing the lefty version of this mouse if you really need that. And then you can do a device backup if you create an account with Logitech. You can restore the settings to default or you can go ahead and remove the mouse. So as you can tell, a lot of cool features that you can customize with this mouse and it's gonna really help improve your workflow if you can utilize those features. Now, if you wanna see a dedicated review video on this mouse, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a video up here. So be sure to click that. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.